the clinical trial I'm doing is about testing the efficacy of magnets on a clinical population, so a clinical population of people with, with pain. Um, the particular measure I'm using, so a measure is a questionnaire, it's a, a specialised clinical one, and the measure just concentrates on, on pain below the waist. So people with lower back pain, uh, hip pain, knee pain, ankle pain. Hips and, and knees are the most common sites for people to get things like arthritic pain um, or pain after injury. So that's why I decided to use a lower body measure. The measure I'm using is, is called a, a WOMAC measure um, and it's the most widely used one for pain um, and mobility issues in the lower body. The trial itself will be submitted to all the, the major medical journals to be peer reviewed. Um, there's no more stringent criteria to review a clinical trial and after that, after it's been peer reviewed, um, it will be submitted as a medical product to um, the Ministry of Health for approval and um, hopefully they will give it a, a classification as a, a medical product. If this is something that helps increase functioning and, and pain in a clinical population then surely it's got to be better than people taking medication. So it's, it's of interest to a huge number of people and if it works in a clinical population then surely it will work in a, an athletic population. Um, and the, the trial itself uses a minimum of 210 participants and that's you work out a power. So a power of a study is about how many participants you need for it to be clinical clinically significant. So you've got to have enough participants for it to be viable in terms of the results. And then all the questionnaires are, um, are you doing a, a pre-test one and a post-test one. So the pre-test one is, is given before wearing the bracelet and then they wear the bracelet for a month and then we retest the same questionnaire again. And hopefully you'd look for a difference between the, the two questionnaires. There's three groups, one group are wearing the bracelet, one group are wearing a dummy bracelet, so a bracelet without any magnets in, and there's one group that are just measuring their pain uh, and mobility over a month, so you've got um, a neutral condition. Um, and I will measure the statistics between all three of those conditions. And there's also other questions that the participants are answering to um, ask them about their experience with using magnets, about using alternative health, um, whether they believe the bracelet will work or not, so that will hopefully isolate anything about placebo effect and about um, whether it's actually the bracelet and the magnets themselves working. So the third group's a control group, so the third group what they do is they just measure their conditions if you like, they, condi they measure their pain over a month so it's exactly the same but they're not wearing a bracelet. Bracelet that we call the dummy condition, the bracelet is exactly the same and they have the stones in that you can actually see so that they're, they're very tangible but the, the stones themselves are not magnetised so it looks exactly the same um, so hopefully people won't realise that they're, they're in the dummy condition and so far I've not had any reports that people have have noticed that they've been wearing a dummy bracelet. The purpose of the study is to find out the difference between um, the WOMAC measure will measure, it measures pain, so hopefully there'll be a reduction in pain in the group that are wearing the real bracelet. And then what we'll be able to measure that against is the difference in the people wearing a dummy bracelet and also the difference between the people who are just measuring their symptoms over a month. There's all sorts of rules and regulations that we follow in terms of getting a what we call a significant result. So a significant result will have to be at a certain level to actually prove that these bracelets actually work and they work in terms of pain, so a reduction of pain, they work on functioning, so that's is it easier to move around than it has been and obviously mobility. What I'm looking for, every psychologist does a trial if they really believe in what they're doing. No psychologist wants to run a trial for the best part of 12 months for something that they think is not going to work. So I'm very hopeful and obviously optimistic that this trial will prove beyond any doubt at all that these magnets work on reducing pain and increasing mobility and functioning in a clinical population and therefore if they work in a clinical population they're going to work and help things like recovery in sport.
as a medical product it will have a, a certification and it will prove beyond any doubt at all the government will rubber stamp that to say that it, it works as a, a health um, aid so that it will reduce pain, inflammation and mobility, increase mobility in joints.